Okay, here we are. BBPN Season 1. Well, technically it's a lot more seasons, but we're calling it that, so leave it to it here. And welcome to the Nurgle Division, yes. You know, the slimy, well, he paid five quid, thus we've got this cast here. So congratulations, there we are. Lizards versus, of all things, vampires. Now, this is one of those fun matchups because I will say it here and I'll say it again. There's huge amounts of arguments over what tier vampires really fall in. So let's switch it around here. Lizards, of course, have come in. Uh, they've got everything they can bring in. Two rerolls, nothing else, no fame. As you can see, standard, six sources, the crooks, four skanks, nothing else. As for the vampires, this is where vampires run into a bit of a problem here. As you can see, he's decided to go with only the two vampires to start with. Yeah, you heard that right. Two to start with. It's a bit of an interesting choice, of course. And he's got a mess of thralls up to, including he's got three reserves. So let's get this started in here. Alright, three rerolls for everyone. That's all we need. Yes, I know the soundboard's having its fun here. I'm still fooling around with trying to sample better sounds into the damn thing. as the bloody soundboard itself. Someday I'm going to figure out a way to get them to be consistent. So don't worry, I've heard your concerns and I agree with them. For all, let's get started in here. He's going to go for the quickly charge on in. Okay, so... Let's talk about vampires a wee bit here, shall we? Vampires. Yeah, you really have got to be almost an ogre coach. Yes, I know, it's a crazy example, but you've got to be like an ogre coach when it comes to how to juggle your rerolls. And then, of course, is a great example of what's wrong with, you know, rerolls when you're the bloody vampire team. <laughs> bloody, there's a good term for it. Vampire's biggest problem is you've got bloodlust. And of course, you know, when you start off the vampires, yes, they've got straight four, they've got 84, but you live and die by fucking ones. You also live and die by the one in nine, until they finally stop getting some skills. Here's me advice to you, lad. First skill, all your vampires, unless they roll something really strange, block. Speaking of block, well, there's block right there. <laughs> Okay, maybe not such a deadly block, but it's still a block nonetheless. It's not to knock it down, isn't it? You see, you're going to learn one thing about lizards. Lizards have the same problem. You know what? You suck! Now, he's moving on now. Oh, well, unfortunate. So that would have been a good way to finish things off there when he already trips and falls. But he's done the right move. He's mocked you up. And now, of course, risk is the business. In comes Stunty. In comes a bit more. And that's basically what he's going to do. He's, that's his job. Storming on in. Come on. Anyone else coming in? How about you, Sunshine? See, there you go. And the Croc Sword. Well, he's basically a freebie. Push me, push you. Don't really care about the tail. Oh, and that's going to keep these two players tied up. All right, let's pause it up. Okay, how bad of a problem is this? Yes, this is an extensively bad problem. We've got one vampire trapped in the rear. <laughs> Every way she likes it. And you're fully surrounded. Okay. Here's me voice lag. Get the ball out of here. Now, you've got crazy options here. You're not going this way. I'll just say it uh, simply. You're going to have to somehow go this way. And you don't like it. No, seriously, you don't like it. Here's your option. One, two... Three. It depends how your rolls go. See, this is the problem with your vampires. Again, you live and die by ones. It's a lot of dice, isn't it? This is why you're going to realize when you start buying skills for your vampires, it's all about reroll management and negating rerolls. Basically, you don't want to be spending them. You want innately for your player in question to be using a skill to make the reroll for you. Does that make sense? And again, because of how vampires get used a lot, first skill, block. Trust me on that. It's people's argue by them pro. Maybe the second skill, lad. Maybe the second skill, not the first one. Anyway, best advice I'll give you a one, two, three, four, five. How lucky you're feeling. Six, get the ball to him. If it's just a pass play, just get it to him. Get this one running, and then everyone else do the business. Guess what? The lizard's going to have all the time getting the ball back. But let's see what he does. Because no, I haven't seen this guy. 
you're gonna blitz with the ball carrier. All right, two dice, push me, push you. And there's the one. Crap! And guess what? You can't pass now, lad. Because you're blitzed away. This is going to be wide open. All right, so you brought this one back. But you're still wide open, lad. Well, let's see how he recovers this one. And there's the blood wasps. You hit not the gazed. And now you're going to champ on the player. Boy, you did a great job on that one, didn't you? Damn, I'm good. <laughs> yes, you are. There you go, you just did the job for him, unfortunately. Yes, you got the hypno, but all he has to do is activate your move. Well, he does make the first dodge, I'll give him that. And everyone else stays in there. Okay, lizards, what are you going to do? He goes for basically the two dice block, doesn't get the one and nine. But he does do the smart thing now, he's going to start bringing the snakes in. Makes the dodge, bit of a risk, but he's not too worried about it. Because this is the plan. As you can see, it absolutely is the plan. Right into the one, because he's really good at this one. Try this again. Push me, push you. Well, he's going to dump you in there. You got lucky, lad. Right now, the lizards are complaining, you know, at, at your look, because right now, all these two dice, they're all bloody pushes. And of course, you can see the other symbol coming up. It's a block. That's a strong move. You're going to have a hell of a time getting out of there. Solid it. Solid punch. Oh my. Well, that's a bell rung. He activates, doesn't have to hit anything. How about you, Sunshine? You know, you can hit something alright. Yes, yeah, it's starting to become a theme here. And of course, Stunty, why just to piss you off? Remember what I said about you need to throw the ball away and set a blitz away? Well, this is why. Sad to say. Okay. Well, let's see if you can dig out of this one. And no, it's not pretty, is it? As much as I hate to say it, you might actually have to... You know, you could do a chain force. Well, two dice here, well that didn't work. Brings this one back, okay. Now you see what I mentioned block. Well, push me, push you, you got out, but you're not going anywhere. Question, why wasn't that a blitz out? Just asking. Alright, lizards. Well, this is become a fiasco, unfortunately, and as you can see here, already the undead's actually down a few players. Good solid hit, pays off, doesn't get anywhere, out of balls free. And it's a decent bounce, I don't think he's too worried about that one there. Does get away with the hit, Cooks all does the business. Da, da, da. And the ball is completely free now, and frankly, if you're the lizard, you go for the quick score and just put this away. There you go, he's got the ball. Good boy, sweetheart. Come on, come on. See, he can do it. He can absolutely do it. Yeah, okay, there's enough celebration for them here. Okay, so the Lizard's quick defensive score. And as you can see, he pointed out, there's a reason why for it, unfortunately. Well, it's early days, and if you've not played vampires before, you're about to learn all the tricks of the vampires. So, one injured, one KO'd, you still got a spare thrall, that's fine. Of course, as he notes here to Lizards, he hasn't done anything yet. Well, he's helpful. So, descriptions of the vampires. Face it, the thralls are never going to be anything exceptional to you. In fact, let's face it, they're just put the drinking boxes. They really are. And, and that's just acceptable. You're going to have to realize the vampires are going to do all the sucking work. They really are. If the thrall does anything, it's a bloody miracle. It does happen. Be ready for it. Speaking of bloody miracles, ball coming down. And, are you kidding me? Oh, well, fine. 
Let's go and take something out. Holy dooly! Oh well. Bit of a problem there. No god! No god, please no! 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 Well, celebration, the fans have definitely shown what it's like for the coach like this to go pick on the other one. And that's what you fucking deserve. <laughs> a quick, easy kill. And I gotta tell you there, Val Boyes, uh, cheer on your fans, that was a great shot. Now, I do think it's strange that it's a silver bullet, but you know what, I'm not gonna question it. Okay, vampires, get ball, melee pass action. There's, there's no argument here, you now gotta start scoring quick. Yes, you got a bloodlust. Fine. So why did you just stand there? Okay. Someone's gonna definitely need to learn. Okay, when you get your blood lost, this is a lesson here so you understand how vampires work here. You're allowed to still move, so you're blood -losted. That's fine. You know? Let's, let's take a look here. Didn't re-roll it, that's fine. You got blood loss. Doesn't mean you have to stand there. You can go one, two, three, four, five, six, activate your blood lost, eat him, and then complete the pass action. That's what you can do here, okay? Blood loss doesn't mean you have to stand still. That's how vampires work. It's as long as he makes the bite. In fact, here's the craziness. You want to, you know, if you wanted to really spare the player, guess what you could have done? One, two, three, four, five, six. Then throw, and then you want to option. You know what? I'm not going to bite anything this time. Move the player off, and then help to get out of it. But oh well, let's carry on there. Bit of a mistake. It depends if you're not used to playing vampires. You didn't realize you could still move, lad. Now. Lizards. Stunty. I, that's all I'm going to say. There's a ball. Go get it. So hit on the front. Get over here! And down he goes. Rolling the crook sword. Because you're trying to make an easier pathway. Well, that's fine. Doesn't quite trust his Stunty as much. Alright, here come the lads. See, this is the right move. Pour it in. Bit of a gamble there. Takes the two GFIs just to get the vampire. Solid it as expected, and well, there we go. Mocks up the other ones. Moves in. Now, if he's smart, it now becomes the skink flood down the field and go get the bloody football. Not two GFIs. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You realize he could have gotten the ball, Sunshine. Oh, wait, what am I thinking? Of course. Oh, well, he got the ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fine, I'll let him have that one. You start, to, you start to understand how this game's now become the one game of the week. Look, I'm not trying to show you off. It, it's called, this is lessons for anyone who hasn't played vampires, because it's a hell of a choice, isn't it, lad? Now that was a good hit. Yay! It's a KO, you'll take it, and guess what, your thrall's got the ball. Accept it, embrace it, learn to live with it. That's going to happen a lot, lad. Your thrall somehow ended the ball. See, burns the one out. That's why you... Oh, come on, let him have one. No. It's not me, it's the bloody fans. I hate this thing. Well, alright. So it's not perfect this try, but this is recoverable. Mind you, the lizards have got the right of it, and well, that's the job. Work complete. Balls free one more time, and then it goes over there. Okay, two more dice, not a hit. You're going to have to get used to this one. Sources, it's more the future. It seems it can actually match up the vampires, and it's sad to say you've only got the two. Makes the dodge, makes the stunty. There he goes. And the bugger's gone and scored one more time. Oh, well. Oh well, 
can't get used to that, unfortunately. But that's a good thing to see. Look, I, I just wish you inflicted it. Well, one for the fans. Fans to SPP. Hopefully they do better the rest of the season. You know, I think your thralls know something. You don't. It's not your fault. It's just I think they, they're a bit too smart on your team. All right, so you're still a full team. And now the Lizards are actually down two players. You can claw this one back, lads. I mean, you did come in with a lot of rerolls, and there's nothing wrong with that with a vampire team. Like I said, it's all about reroll. Oh, come on. Really? Just really? Submit! Well, Stunty, here he comes again. Two dice on the flank. Solid it. One more time. And down goes the lad. Smart move, of course. Yeah, he's going to park the source. Right where your sun don't shine. Doesn't even really give you a chance to do a free peel off. Here comes the next one. Parked there. Well, it's going to be an AG4 you trust. Pure and simple. Here come the stunties. In fact, he's even going to get a little cheeky just in case he does get the six. If anything, what his plan is, he wants the ball to bounce someone else. Well, that's kind of a commitment, isn't it? Makes the dodge. Where are you going now, Sunshine? There you go. So he's really hoping for the bounce. He gets it. And sad to say that is... Come on. Anybody. Sorry. Oh, well. Grass grows, birds fly, sun shines, and brother, I hurt people. Yeah, well, that's the plan, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Solid it into the skink. Good move. You did do the chain push. Skank survives. Ball's in a better position. And the vampire's going to have to one just going to pick it up. There you go. Another solid hit. Gets the source moving. Now, you're going to have to go pick up the... Well, I guess you decided not to pick up the ball. AG4 was your best track at it. All right. Solid hit. Down he goes. You're free to play up. Who's the throw over there? Going for the one doy block, are you? Well, it's push me, push you. Alright, better advice, you probably want to move not him there, because now he's freed up for whatever he wants to do. You probably want to move him here. Okay. Yes, it means the throw gets hit. That's his job. You want him free and him not free. Alright. Well, Thrall did his job. <laughs> Eats a fist. Skank is decided to keep you a little bit preoccupied here. Tries to make the cheese dog. Get over here! And, well, he gets himself nicely KO'd. Ah, wonderful. Okay. Ooh, you suck! Alright, now's your chance, lad. Peel him off. There's ways of doing it, so you've got the idea, but get the ball to him. Alright, he decides to blitz with him. Alright, fine. Gets the solid hit. That's fine. But now, pick up the ball. There you go. Problem is, once again, you have the same problem as before. Not exactly the safest place to be, lad, because why? Well, those are all going to get knocked down, aren't they? Well, maybe not. There's no re-rolls. So you're almost counting on the Lizards to 1 and 9 it. You might actually be right. Well, we'll see what's happening. As we said, it's already 2-0. The Vampire's, quite frankly, got nothing to lose. Well, except for Thralls, but those are a dime a dozen at this point, aren't they? So here he comes. He's going to pound away at this one here and try and free him up as a receiver, is my guess. And once again, okay, you kept him tagged up, that's fine. And there's your ultra receiver. Fair enough, just hope he survives. See, and this is what I was predicting was going to happen there. Punch down. How good you dodging, lad? You're going to need it. Now he's not going to let you dodge out, is he? Well, push me, push you. Unfortunately, it's a very unhealthy situation. Again, why I didn't think he should cage there. Push me, push you. Well, that's fine. 
Well, will he take it? No, he's going to go get the thrall. It's a good solid hit. And where's the skink going? Not the safest spot. Okay. Turn eight. Okay, lad, you do have to pass it. Here's me advice. Unless you can find a way to chain push it, you need to risk the dodge. You've got the reroll. Embrace it. Move him out of the way first, though, because you want the shorter route. If anything else, move him into a position of where would he be? One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe make the pass from there. Therefore, move the thrall around here. So if he rolls bloodlust, you don't care. You dodge out, you eat him up there, and then you make the throw. Okay? Maybe I'm already telling him what he's about to do. Let's find out. Let's go, lads. Okay, he's up. He's up and moving. You blocked your pathway, son. Well, you knocked him down, but you still haven't given yourself a way out. Okay, here he comes. Two die blitz. Alright. But now you blocked his pathway. Well, he does make the double dodge. I'll give him that one there. He's near him. And... Let's try that again, Sunshine. Nine, 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 nine. Well, don't worry. <laughs> the lizards return the favor. Double skull right off the bat, and so much for that effort. Oh well, that ends it up for that half. Not a pretty one. Well, you did get free. I'll give you that. And there's nothing you can do when you start rolling that low near the end. Well, here's the bright side. The Lizards are actually down two players. Oh, about time these little darlings came back. Well done. And let's speed this one up here. Okay, so let's switch it around. Lizards are on the offense. You've got a good idea. Vampires are better be in the rear position here because they're going to be, uh, well, probably snipe and go and get the ball. Lizards, Downosaurus, and of course he's only got the three skanks left. Body feels pretty comfortable, it's 2-0, that's a good position to be in. As we see here though, plus one fame is coming in handy. Means he's got pretty good feel, you know, thick rocks. Alright, let's see what the Lizards have got in store here. What have you got here? Yeah, he just wants to police the ball and prevent you come running through and going and getting it. What's the result today? Here we go. Okay, that's pretty good. Now go get him sunshine here. Well, I gotta hype him up somewhere here, don't I? Okay, good solid hit. Fails him away. Now keep going. Not a bad idea. Tagging him up is fine. Marked him up there. You're doing pretty good, lad. At this point here, you'd almost be tempted to sneak in the other thrall later on and foul the little bugger. Like I said, almost tempted. Press your team. Well, you're down 2 0. That's pretty much, you know, you know what the game plan is. Gotta go get this ball. Well, coming through. Bot lands in the back, so therefore 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, and this is not too good for the lizards here. They're going to have to do a big effort to go get the ball. Actually do something. Alright, the luggage has gotten back into position here. Makes the easy dodge. Runs back. Yeah, he's planning for the failure. Okay, that's good to see. And there's the failure. Behold, there it was. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Well, let's hope so. Because, well, quite frankly, you know, we don't think he wants to have. Bugger, here it goes. Yeah, there's a KO. Definitely. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Not getting enough one in noise, is it? Yes, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. 
I hope you die from hugs! Killer hugs for everyone! That's not good because now he can run through. Do you remember that lad? You can now run through. Solid push away, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not bad, not bad at all. It's what he has to do. But now, here's my question. How much risk is the business? I'll pause it up. Let's take a look here. Okay, so where's the lizard? He's right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go, go. See, ears were crazy to get on the boss here, lad. One, two, three, four, five, six. And go. He could actually try and hit him. It's a fair, decent try. Of course, he won't make it a little bit easier here. You can actually have him cry and sneak in, hypnogaze him, and he comes charging in. I didn't say it's going to work. You need a bunch of threes. And, of course, you can always roll a one. So, you know, it's not a bad idea. Bring him in. But now he's taking the easy hit instead of going after the ball. And you followed up. That's one you don't want to follow up. So if you'd risked it, you might have actually gotten the big pow. Down he goes. And you're staying kind of in a position here, waiting. Well, Skink's move eight, so he's a Goblin Rollerblade. He's gone. See ya! Ah, it's even giving him a chance to do well. I hate to say it, cage up. There's a solid push away. Get lost. Because what's his decision here? A wants a corner cage. He does not want your cage diving. But again, no one's got blocked. It's not too much of a worry at this point. Solid it. Sort of punch. Now, mind you. Oh dear. Uh, well. Brutality. Yes, it is indeed. Just a KO, though. Don't worry about it. You can shake that one off. Oh, there's another solid it. Uh, well, he's stunned. Oh, yes! Push me, push you. Oh, you taking a swing at, takes a swing at him, takes a chance, gets the push. And he's trying to drive your vampires nuts. So here's the thing your vampires can actually do very, very easily. Because you're hypnogaze, you can hypnogaze one of the corners of his cage and then have the other vampire come in and blitz. Alright, this is what vampires do. This is why caging doesn't work against vampires very often. But you have to be really aware of what Hypnogaze does and how to use it to shatter any cage that ever gets put up. Let's see if the vampire coach realizes that. Step one. Does the first mark up. That is absolutely correct. No problem for 10 points. And what are you doing? That's not the ball carrier. You took him out. Not he's down, I'll give you that. Here comes the other vampire. Where's he going? Comes in, that's fine. And you hypnogize the ball carrier. Okay, fun fact. Yes, you hypnogize the ball carrier. That's fantastic, that's wonderful, and a fat lot of good it's going to do because the ball carrier all he has to do is activate and he runs away. He doesn't drop the ball. Some have thought that. I will admit, the original rules of the game, yeah, in the games, if you had the ball, you dropped it. Not anymore, you just stand there. And he's got the right idea, because he's making a pathway for you, yet you've got it run through. Toodles! Yeah, he's gone. And now you're not catching him either. He's long gone. Here comes the other skate running up. Ah, there you go, one in nine. My nipples explode with the leg! <laughs> well, you can only dream, can't you? Okay. Vampires. Two, three, four, five, six. Well, the thrall can get him. And yeah, he's realised that. There you go, long, long run. Of course it fails. Why would it work? If it works. You take the block. They're both down. Oh, well. You just made the list! Uh, at least you stunned him. Mind you, you might have done that play a little soon. 
Why didn't you move the other vampire to go and be following along? Then have this guy run down. Early days indeed, it really is. It, it, it's it's really a fun trying to play a vampire tank. They say it's a tier two, it just but every coach goes, no, they're clearly a tier three because it's such a crazy learning curve. Well, fortunately, the crowd has shown they have an extreme bias for the vampires. It's nice to see. Good bone him, I'll freeze him up. But everyone else, hey, look, it's free. It's for everybody. <laughs> make it stop! Oh, make it stop! Yeah, I get a sense of a feeling of what's going on on the other side of the screen, unfortunately. It's just not been that day, has it been? Oh, yeah, well. Another push mate push you, and of course you'll move him in the Allosaurus. Well, then he wants to follow up a not optional here. Two more dice, well, the Thralls are about to have a really bad day. They don't like being on your team, I can tell. Alright, brings him up, that's fine, but you gotta go get the ball. Marks him up, well, that might work. Unfortunately, you end up KOing when you knock the person down, well, shame really. Alright. How far can he go? Oh, he's got the right idea. Knock him down, mark him up. Push me, push you. That's fine. But now you got to keep going, lad. No? Well, that's going to make an easy get up. Two red dice. Well, there's a bit of aggression there. He salute you for trying it. Unfortunately, guess what that freed up? Two dice. Ah, there's the one in nine you've been patiently waiting for, unfortunately. He does have one reroll left, he gets it. Does he actually get the ball? No, not yet. Because he wants this skink, because he's already gotten it once. Go get it again, and the bastard's got it one more time. Oh well, say the way. Enough tribal celebrations. I'm getting sick and tired of that. Okay. All right. Let's see how his KOs do this time. Now he gets most of them back. All right. It's your first game with vampires. Vampires, like I said, they really are a tier three team. They are quite the learning curve. And he's certainly getting some learning here. Well, that's what Games of the Week is all about in the first place anyway. We're trying to showcase, look, there's some better ways to do a few things yet. You will get better, trust me. I had, I've had fun playing these in the map. It's not it's not easy. It really is all about reroll juggling. Like I said, first skill you're ever buying these vampires, not pro, block. All right, high kick. Zippity doodle. Let's go and get the ball, right? Dummy, yeah. All right. Unfortunately, someone was already on it, and yes, you've got it. It's a fucking thrall. Well, run. That's my voice. Just run. You've got the ball. Run. Good. Solid hit. Well done. You're tying him up. All right. You really want this bloody thing dead, don't you? I don't blame you some days. Solid punch. Vampire in the front line. Okay, start running. So I'd like to see you get on the board, lad. And his big blitz, solid it. Come on, Crooks. Daddy needs some new Samsonite now. You really should be moving someone else after the blitz. You don't have to stop right there. All right, here comes the team. Watching up the field. Well, you've got three turns to advance down the field. Let's see what you do. Meanwhile, Lizards. I know, you're so strange, you the lizards. All I see is, you know, Samsonite, Gucci, yeah, that's all I see. Ah, oh, well, once again, another solid hit. And he's mocked it up again. He's really trying to make your life a pain, isn't he? Ah, uh, now you're starting to understand the power of the skates. Bit of maneuverability. 
he changes his mind, so he ends up making a roll he has no need to make. But that's the kind of game it's been, hasn't it, lad? Lucio is skinking around, just in case. Okay, does he want to mock in? Decisions, decisions, decisions. No, he doesn't. But he will mock your vampire, because he recognises this is the bugger. If he gets the ball, he's gone. Well, that didn't achieve anything. Like, don't, don't get me wrong, I see why. But it's the way the game's going, isn't it? Alright, you've got a running hole if you want to run it. Makes the dodge. Time to hand the ball off. Come Sloppy! On. Pick up the ball. See, there you go. Fantastic. And now he's off and running. Rest of your team. Keep these guys preoccupied. They're not going to dodge anytime soon. This is your one threat, I hate to say. The skinks are overcommitted. Oh, can you committed all right? There's a good punch. Well done. That was a chance and it worked. Yeah. Definitely going to make the life a little more difficult. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay. Yeah, overcommitment of skates. He's now realized what he's done. And well, now he's got to rethink his life choices and get them on the you know, carousel of life and get them running backwards. Two guys, solid it. That frees him up. One, two, three. Go, go. Here he comes. Oh well. That didn't work, did it? You know, it's always nice when you see something like that. It's like, whoops! Oh, well, double skulls. Well, you knew there was ones in there somewhere. There's not that bloody many. Oh. No, I get it. You got two rerolls and you really want to pay them back. I don't mind you. What, well, he's down? Anyone else like to play? How about you? That's a risky dodge away. Not well, push me, push you. That's fine. Where are you going, Sunshine? Can I help him out? Okay. Push me, push you. That's fine. And it's about time he bloody scored. Congratulations, it's finally in. All right, celebration at least by the team. They finally got a well-earned touchdown. Long overdue, but don't worry, I'm happy for you, lad. I really am. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I know the Lizard's not too happy about this either, but you know what? Screw you too. <laughs> at least I'll tell you here from the Bound Boys' viewpoint. You're not having to replace players, are you? The Lizard's, yes, you won. Well... There goes your winnings, because you need that sort of spack. Alright, let's turn this around here. Turn 16. Now, here's the fun point. Does he actually want to set up for a one-turn touchdown? Not really. He's up 3-1. What's the point? He'd be experimental at this point. There we go. Solid kick. Alright. Where's the ball going this time? Nope, Stink's got it. Alright. Does he have it? Yeah, he's got it. Okay. Well done, little lad. And, of course... Both down because reasons. Oh well, here we go. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Yeah, that's what that's what my hope is. Good solid punch. Come on, does he do it, lad? Nope, not yet. No, oh, well, that's fine. Here comes the vampire. Yeah, he'd really like to get one of these skinks. It's just not happening yet, is it? Oh well. Push me, push you. Bit of running, it's turn 16. Is there anything else that could possibly happen? Oh yeah, that's right, BBPN. No longer is there a forbidden pleasure when it comes to fouling. Especially on turn 16. Oh, well, he's got another block here. Oh, well done. Good job. Obliterated. Let's look at that again. Yeah, that definitely took him down all right. And he's going to feel that in the morning. And that ends that one. So, 3-1 coming on the Nurgle Division for what, game week number one. 
And yes, it's a bit too, it's like I said, it's a learning curve for vampires. Pay attention, practice with them a bit, and you're gonna have to learn. Yes, just because you're blood lost, it doesn't mean you have to stand still. You can keep moving as long as you make sure you point something that has a light snack at the end of it. Lessons learned. As for, you know, the you know, Samsonite team here. Yeah, someone's definitely claimed that luggage there. I'd have a complaint to the airport, but what condition it came in? Too dead. <laughs> Lots of luck the rest of the season. Novel, bless your dice.